Bruh. Bruh. $19 Fortnite, $19 Fortnite card. <sighs> Listen, just be honest with yourself for a minute. Are you s wait, wait. What do you think of when I say the words self-care? What do you think of? Huh? Do you think of uh, that Parks and Rec scene where it's like, treat yourself, you know, go indulge in some hedonism? Is that what you think of when you think of self-care? Do you think of like a bubble bath and stuff like that? And, well, you may be 13% right about what self-care means, if you're thinking those things when you think of self-care. Uh, you'd be the rest of the percent incorrect. You're lacking a lot when it comes to self-care. Some of you already know what I'm about to say, and uh, if you do, really take it to heart, because if you've heard this multiple times, it should, like, be kind of a wake-up call for you. Self-care means taking care of your capabilities, right, as a person, and a lot of that can be recharging. It can be taking some time to, like, step back, taking a break. That can be part of self-care. But what self-care should also mean is eating the right things, buying the right things, exercising, going outside, Okay, actually committing to self-improvement, actually holding consistency in the right things, actually shifting your identity to a person who is capable of greatness, who's capable of helping people, right? Contribution is the key to happiness. That's why I say that example specifically, right? You shouldn't have the ultimate goal be to serve yourself. Okay, not only is that a tenet of the temple of satin incorrectly spelled right it's one of the core tenets actually but it's just cringe you, you know being selfish is bad for a reason and all the people who say you know I, I do this for me it's for me i work out for me they're all very unstable angry people and it's kind of sad right what you should do when caring for yourself, when increasing your capacities, is to do exactly that. Increase your capability, right? Think about why you work out. You don't just work out just for the mere sentiment of it possibly being good for you, right? You work out to be stronger, all right? To be healthier, maybe to look better, which is part of it, right? How you look in a lot of ways is a reflection of who you are, how you treat yourself and how you treat others, right? It's very true. Like, no one really for the most part, right, when it comes to physical stuff, gets that way by accident. So when you think of self-care, what I want you to do, instead of thinking of just indulging, just, you know, doing the things that just feel good, try to do the things that are good, right? And hear, hear me out, hear me out. Let me make a case for those things because feeling good matters, right? The things that are good feel so, so much better when they actually are good. Trust me, trust me. And I, I wasn't always a believer in that. I wasn't, you know, I thought, you know, I need the things that are bad for me so that I can have some time to actually enjoy myself. But if you're not enjoying the process, you're probably doing something wrong and you need to have some reflection and you need to like reevaluate who you're listening to. You know what I mean? Because the things that are good for you, they feel amazing. Like for example, eating a steak tastes amazing and it's amazing for you. The amount of vitamins, minerals, and stuff like that. Steak is a superfood, right? And anyone who knows there's, is worth their salts, I guess pun intended, in nutrition will tell you that. Steak's amazing for you, you know? And if you work out properly, it'll feel amazing. It'll, not just fulfilling, but it'll feel great, you know? That's why gym rats love the gym so much. It's because it just feels good. It's great. A lot of them are there just because it feels good, and they're heathens, and they're not actually pursuing the right things, you know? The gym is part of that, right? And there's a lot of benefits to going to the gym regardless, but... The things that are actually good will feel good. So don't think I have to give up, you know, a great lifestyle. No, no, no. You are building a great lifestyle by treating self-care properly, okay? Not just building yourself up, but uh, this is another point I want to bring up that you should remember. Two points. Building yourself up in maintenance, right? And maintenance can be those things. Relaxing, resting, making sure your sleep is proper, making sure your, your recovery is proper, making sure you're cleaning yourself daily, making sure your clothes themselves are clean, right? Making sure you're not consuming things, and I do mean consuming in all ways that are bad for you, okay? Or at the very least working on limiting them, right? Getting somewhere. Progress and maintenance. That's all it takes. That's all it takes to live a spectacular lifestyle confirmed. Now listen, I'm going to kiss you on the face, okay? 
why? Well, instead of saying why not, like a lazy armchair philosopher, I'm going to say because not just like I know pretty confidently because you stuck around this long that you care about making things better. Okay. And not just feeling good and absolute nonsense. So for those reasons, I love you and I would like to get to know you better. Not in that way. Not in that way. Confirmed. And listen, if you have any questions or need any help from me, ask me in the comments. You can DM me. DMs always stay private if it's something that you want to keep private. Confirmed unless otherwise specified. Or you can come up and do a live stream, okay? In which we may get a little bit uh, prejudice, you know? I may or may not feel a certain way about certain types of skin. All right? Stay epic. Epic style. And I really hope that we can talk sometime soon. Um, my cursor is on the end end recording button, so just so this 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 makes sense. Bing bing.